Musicians frequently have the craziest lives, and far too many have passed away before even reaching the age of 30. Many musicians have created songs on mortality, reflecting on the perpetual issue of what's waiting. Mortality is a frightening subject. On the other hand, several musicians have made strangely accurate predictions about their own death. Tupac Shaker Tupac Shaker will undoubtedly be remembered as one of the greatest rappers of all time. His excellent comprehension of culture and society contributed to his iconic image. I believe strongly that um, my audience empathize with me because I show that side, I show that emotion, raw, uncut, good and bad. The person who popularized the term thug life apparently believed early in his life that he wouldn't live to be elderly. When interviewed in 1994, he was asked where he saw himself in 15 years. That was a worst case scenario. He quickly clarified, adding that he'd rather be rich than dead. But that wasn't the only time Tupac expressed such certainty about an early death. In 1995, Tupac told Vibe magazine that he was giving them what he called his final interview, expressing a desire to have his story told accurately before he died. Then, in 1996, he shot the music video I Ain't Mad at Cha, which showed him communicating with his loved ones in the afterlife. Just a few weeks later, Tupac's life ended in a drive by shooting in Las Vegas. He was only 25 years old. John Lennon When John Lennon was shot, the entire world cried in horror, but Lennon may have been less shocked than anybody else. The Beatles' former secretary, Frida Kelly, told The Guardian that she worked for the Beatles when she was a teenager. The first thing that came into my mind when he died was that he used to say, I won't be here when I'm 40. I won't make 40. However, Kelly's story isn't the first time that someone has talked about Lennon's cynical expectations for his future. Newsweek revealed that all the way back in 1965, Lennon told a reporter his expectations for himself and his fellow bandmates. Sharing, we'll either go in a plane crash or we'll be popped off by some loony. He was right. Lennon was shot and killed at about 11 o'clock last night outside his apartment building. He was 40. Michael Jackson. Most people agree that Michael Jackson died from an overdose, but nobody is sure who is to blame. Jackson's doctor, Conrad Murray, who was convicted of involuntary manslaughter, was the culprit, according to the courts. However, not everyone buys the notion that Jackson's death was an accident. Paris Jackson, the singer's daughter, told Rolling Stone that she believes the truth is much more diabolical and that everyone else in her family shares this opinion. She said, He would drop hints about people being out to get him. And at some point, he was like, they're going to kill me one day. And I just wanted to say I love him so much. In his last weeks alive, Michael Jackson claimed in letters to one of his closest friends that he was going to be murdered and was scared for his life. Jackson's ex-wife, Lisa Marie Presley, once told a similar anecdote to Oprah regarding the singer's belief that someone wanted him dead allegedly in order to seize the money from his music publishing catalog. Left Eye Lisa Lopez, better known as Left Eye of TLC, turned 30 in 2002. Her life had already turned into a volatile concoction of explosive headlines, domestic violence, and public fallouts. That year, Lopez flew to Honduras for a recovery sabbatical and to film a documentary about her life. Throughout the documentary, her belief in premonitions was a focal point. Push is funny, because whatever your fear is, it seems to manifest here like that. Sadly, things took a dark turn. A van she was riding in collided with a young boy who didn't survive his injuries. Even though Left Eye had only been a passenger in the van, she was still responsible for covering the whole cost of the boy's medical care and funeral. According to documentary footage from the time, she was noticeably chilled by the fact that she and the boy shared a surname. According to the documentary footage, she became convinced 
that some sort of malevolent spirit was following her meaning to kill her instead of the boy. Later, while still in Honduras, the car left eye was driving swerved off the side of the road. The chilling moment was caught on film. She did not survive the crash. ex extentation Rapper Hassida Duane on Freud, known by his stage name ex extentation rose to prominence after dropping his first track on SoundCloud in 2014 and releasing his first studio album in August 2017. But his musical success wasn't the only thing that came to define him. In 2016, his girlfriend accused him of assault and abuse, which she said was a frequent occurrence. In October that year, he allegedly strangled her, severely beat her, and locked her up for two days. Because she was pregnant, she went to the police and X was arrested. The trial kept getting pushed back all the way into 2018. At some point in early 2018, X posted a video to Instagram speaking straight to the cameras. The court case never happened. On June 18, 2018, X was shot to death in Florida in what police believe was a drive-by shooting. He was 20 years old. <laughs>